talking about it? That's right. I'm on top of a stack of books. You know what that must mean? It means it's time for a book review. And here we are. It's time for Aladdin's Insert Title Here Review. You know, last monkey, you might think of a shorter way to introduce your show than that long title, but tell you what, I'll let you talk about the book that you want to talk about. There you go. Yeah. Go on, nice monkey. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Leroy. Um, I appreciate you turning off the volume on the TV, but I don't know why you have the TV on behind you. Because you have a cat in your lap. That's all I got to say. Well, it's <laughs> a cool cat. Come on. I am a white rat. Do you think I'm I want to be around a cat? I'm holding Tear you. Ball. Tear ball. Tear ball, Anyway, I'm going to do a review today of the Underwater Welder and uh, a little um, review of this series called Look Straight Ahead. So let's start with this one. The Underwater Welder by Jeff Lemire is... Um, That'd be a French by, name. Yeah, by his own description, it is sort of a Twilight Zone style of story. So... Um, there's some weird, creepy stuff happening around this guy who is a, a welder who um, repairs pipes and, and stuff like that underwater in a diving suit. So um, you get some of that sense of enclosed claustrophobia with this story. Um, one thing I'd like to mention about the artwork is um, normally I'd be really irritated by such sketchy drawing, but... For it reminds me of Ted McGeever type artwork. For those of you who don't know, Ted McGeever did a great series called Eddie Current. But that artwork aside, the book, imagine if you will, an underwater welder. Think about it. Hmm? Hmm? Are you thinking about it? Hmm? Hmm? Oh. Alright, go back okay. to you, nice monkey. Yeah. Is that cat gone? Yeah, stop it. Yeah, yeah he's gone, he's gone. Stop so, look. what normally bothers me about sketchy drawing like this is that I feel like, um... The artist was just rushing through it. But in this case, I think this guy really drew it the way he felt it. And I think what helps is that this story is told in the first-person perspective. So you feel like you're reading somebody's uh, diary or sketchbook. Autobiography. Yeah, like an autobiography. So it feels much more intimate that way. And so I can say that the drawings do not get in the way of the story. They... they in fact, the sketchiness of it kind of reflects the, the, the weird dream quality of some of the storyline. Um, basically, I'll tell you that this guy has trouble with blackouts. He, he could be sitting somewhere, and then suddenly he feels like he's back 10 years ago when he was a kid, and he's in that actual moment of uh, doing something that a 10-year-old would, and then the next thing he knows, he's back in the present, Thus, the ten hours, zone but story. ten hours have gone by with like that. Now, shut up, Leroy. I'm really sorry, but you keep interrupting. Now, that's my job. Thank you very much. So, this is um, a good, solid story. I enjoyed it uh, more than I thought I would based on the cover. I wasn't impressed by the artwork on the cover, but it the w artwork does. It, it's a uh, it's okay. Um, in a, in some of the really dramatic moments, I think maybe it the story is uh, loses a little something in terms of visual impact that could have been there. But the story itself is really solid, and uh, it's a, a wonderful journey with some really deep themes in there uh, about being a father and a son. So if you're a guy and you're feeling a little sentimental about your dad or um, you're a dad and you're being sentimental about your son, read, read this book. You'll really enjoy it. It might even make you cry. So this one just came out last week and it's published... I don't even... Here we go with the public. Okay, again. Top Shelf Productions from Atlanta and Portland. The Underwater Welder by Jeff Lemire. Okay, so the other one... I'm going to review for you today is um, part of a series of comic books. It's called Look Straight Ahead. It's written and illustrated by Elaine Will. And it's about a boy who's in grade 12 who is suffering from depression. So he get you get inside of his head and you get to see what things look like from his perspective. 
and how he struggles to get through school. Uh, the drawing style here is really, really well thought out. Um, some of the scenes are like here. He's really nervous about a girl, so he's literally melting in front of her because he he's too afraid to talk to her. Um, let me see if I can see something. Oh, here's a really great little series of pages, I think. I want to show you this. Here, at the beginning. It's very cinematic. You can get the sense of the snowstorm and this this kid is walking out in the middle of nowhere. And God knows why he's out in the middle of the blizzard. So it's very cinematic. Uh, well composed. You put a lot of thought into this and, and it definitely is... Um, the artwork, I really appreciate that she put a lot of thought and energy into the into the artwork. It, it's well drawn, and the storyline is kind of creepy and weird at the same time. Like this is how he sees the world sometimes. Okay, so I'm not going to spoil too much. It's a series of five right now, and of course number two goes in further. So you're going to see how he either pulls himself together or falls apart. Now. Myself, personally, knowing about depression, um, usually people have to hit bottom before they pick themselves up. So I'm guessing uh, that maybe we're going to watch this person hit bottom. So that's a really good story for people to read if they want to understand what depression is like from the person's own perspective, from the inside out. I can tell you that uh, depression can totally paralyze you and keep you from accomplishing anything and uh, the fact that this woman wrote about it it's a really courageous thing on her part too because she's talking from some personal uh, perspective as well so I would highly recommend this if you want to uh, read about that and the artwork's great so uh, that's it for this week I'm going to next week get uh, well here I'm going to show you what the rest of this series looks like. I don't need to tell you about the rest of the books, because you're going to have to read them, but those are some of the covers of the rest of the books. Okay? So look for that. That's that's a good series to have. Even what whatever it costs, I, I think it's worth every penny. Um, the next thing I will read and review for you is A Game of Swallows, To Die, Leave, To Return. That's uh, about Lebanon um, and a family trying to live in a uh, civil war in Lebanon. So pretty heavy stuff. Does does remind me of somebody else's work, and I think you know who. Okay, and one other thing I will review is, oh gosh. Well, I can't find it right now. So this one is what I'll do. Walt and Skeezix. This is a really old series that's a newspaper strip all put into one book. I think it's good for us to look at some old stuff once in a while, especially if you've never seen it before. Okay, that's it for today, and thank you for watching Allison's insert title here, book review. See you next week. Yeah, don't say anything. She might yell at you. What happened to being a nice monkey? No, cranky monkey. Cranky, cranky, cranky monkey. I need a piece of chocolate. Maybe next time you'll have a different co-host. Maybe, maybe I just won't be around anymore. I'm trying to help you, and you get all cranky. I'm so sorry, Leroy. Too late. Too late. You talk about depression. What about my feelings? <laughs> all right. Stay tuned, because you know why she's so cranky? Because the nice monkey forgot a book, so she's going to be my guest star, my guest speaker, whatever, for the coffee table of sin. So, yeah, that's why she's all cranky. Cranky, cranky, cranky. All right, we'll see you next time. Maybe. Leroy out.